Let's write a C program to add two numbers using pointers. I'll take integer variables a, b and c and two pointer variables of type int star ptr1 and star ptr2. I'll ask the user to enter two numbers and store it inside the address of integer variables a and b. That is address of variable a is ampersand a and address of variable b is ampersand b. Regularly what we would do is c is equal to a plus b would get us the result. But we need to do the same using pointer variables now. Okay. So I'll assign the address of variable a to pointer variable ptr1. And I'll assign the address of variable b to pointer variable ptr2. ptr2 is equal to ampersand b. But we are assigning value to a and b here in this line of code. But before that, we are assigning address of a and b to ptr1 and ptr2 because when we declare any variable, our program goes and allocates memory location to all the variables. So that address we are storing inside pointer variables. Okay, now address of a is present inside ptr1. So ptr1 plus address of variable b is present inside ptr2. So any address preceded by star would give its value. So value of value present inside these two pointer variables are added and assigned to variable c. So I'll display the result that is percentage d plus percentage d is equal to percentage d. So the value is present inside variables a, b and c. To prove my point that is star that is address preceded by star would fetch the value present at that address to prove that point I'll copy this line of code and paste it here. So what is I'll replace this line of code that is what is ampersand a now address of variable a. So I'll write that ampersand a plus ampersand b. So any address preceded by star would fetch the value present at that address. Okay. So I'll print out the result in next line. So both these printout statements should output the same results according to our logic, right? So let's check that out first. So 25 plus, no, not plus, 25 enter or space 25. It should give 50 and it's working. So our logic is working. So let me remove all this code. So let us use functions. Here, please, please watch the code and understand it properly. This is very basic and very, very interesting and important. So I'll, I'll pass values of a and b and address of variable c to our function addition. Okay. Check this out once again. We are passing values of a and b and address of variable c to our method, our function addition. So also I'll print out the value that is the result and value of c which has the result inside main itself. But our function addition doesn't return anything. It, is, it, it will have a return type of void. Still we are printing the result inside main method. That is the value of c will be printed here. Okay. How is that even possible? Yes, that's possible because of pointer concept. Okay. With this, by learning this, you will have wide variety of option, options to write the program very efficiently. Okay. But learn this concept very, very clearly. Be clear of how it works. So return type is void. Let's write that first. So we are passing a and b normal variables. So I'll take local variable int x and int y. So this is address, not the normal variable. So I'll take int z. Make sure it's a pointer variable. So I'll write int star z, which stores the address of variable c. z stores the address of variable c. So this is how we write. This is how we accept the address of an, another variable. So star z, the value present at address z is equal to x plus y. So we are replacing the value present at the address z 
okay make it very clear we are replacing the value present at address z so what's the address present at z that is ampersand c is the address so ampersand c is the address of variable c right so we are manipulating the value present at c so we will get the result there i'll give two numbers 10 and 40 so result should be 10 plus 40 is equal to 50 and it's working so magical right we are not returning anything we are printing the value of c inside main method itself and it's still working thanks to pointer variables okay please write this code yourself and execute it change the values change the variable names play around and please understand this concept before going any further because using this simple concept we will be able to get results without returning any values we could get multiple results because function can return only one type one data right uh, it can't return multiple values you know that by now right but using pointers we could use functions very efficiently very powerful combination that is pointers and functions okay please do not neglect this small program write it down yourself learn it okay please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends using whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter uh, facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you